Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, today we just beat the Seattle Seahawks and we have our first question of the day, which is about the rain that happened in our last game. And let's be honest, the rain was absolutely insane. Um, I think we played pretty dang good for even with the rainstorm. So, weather the storm, your entire team has earned a thousand XP. Let's freaking go. So, we have a bye week we're going into. We talked about this last video how, you know, we got to finish strong. We are 6-0 in the season now. So, going to a bye week, really, our main thing to focus on here is going to be... I'm going to do rest because I think they're going to ask us. Yeah, I was about to say. They're going to ask us what we want to focus on. And I usually focus on, like, grinding and, you know, keep going and keep getting better. But I think I'm going to go with rest here. And the reason why I say this is because... Uh, state grinding, self scouting, team bonding retreat. Yeah, so like rest. And the reason why I say this is just to get my morale up, cause at this point I feel like we're pretty dang good on everything else, and I just want to you know play it smart here. All right, so we got some upgrades. Let's see who got some upgrades real fast. Um, T Cam Taylor Britt. Okay, and the good thing about our bye week here, right? is that we're able to get double weekly strategy xp points so we're gonna get our first ones from this week right so weekly strategy let's go ahead and get right into it and then we get another one for next week so this one obviously is not a game plan versus anybody so the game plan i guess you would say against ourselves um and we can at least work on this a little bit so let's see who am i going against of course tyler boyd and it's going to be a out route. Okay. Woo. Let's go, DJ Turner. Got some moves on him, man. All right, deep pass, deep pass. Dude, I am getting so good at this. I might stop doing DB battle because I'm just getting too good at it, honestly. As I said, I get I get cooked. Okay, you know what? It's okay. But, like, I, I am low-key getting good at this. Like... I don't know how. I was like, I started off so bad. If you watch episode one, you see how bad I started off. And like, I was getting cooked on everything. I was getting cooked on, <clears throat> cooked on drag routes, on post routes, on out routes. And then it's like, now I'm getting so much better. And, ooh, nice. Incompletion. I got gold, which I do like. I wish I gave you more options for challenges. I'm not really wrong. There is a lot of options, right? Yeah, like obviously you got the backfield mismatch and survival stuff, but I wish it was more than because I'll be honest with you, I just want as much like you know, press as many games as I can get. All right, let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Coverage skeleton. So this is actually a tad bit different. Uh, now I'm more into zone coverage here rather than uh, just man coverage, and it looks like there isn't like any particular player. You kind of just hover around anyone here. I was expecting the fact that like they were gonna like target me or go against me, but it looks like that's not the case. So it's just pretty much like, you know, this is like a typical coverage, right? Typical like maybe short, second down and short type of situation. And surprisingly enough, there is like, what, a minute on the clock here. So, oh, I'm trying to get an interception. Okay, I forgot T. I forgot, was that, yeah, it was T, okay. T freaking amazing. Okay, cover stack, cover stack. Let's go, baby. I have never done this one before, so this is interesting so far. Okay. I'm going to get another cover stack, man. Joe was just sitting back there trying to have all day. But cover stacks don't really help us out too, too much as they dot us up right there for a tutty. Uh, so it's better to not get cover stack, but it is what it is. Um, Sometimes, you know, it happens if the quarterback doesn't throw the ball. Okay, I don't think I'm... Uh, I don't know if I like this one too much. Because this one isn't really about user skill. It's really just about luck. Because, obviously, the guy's going to get open. Okay. Like, I guess, yeah. I guess in the man coverage aspect, I can cover a little bit more. And, yeah, I, I can't get over there. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Can I change the play? I can't change the play. I don't like that. Like, bro... <laughs> That's not fair, bro. They, like, this is the best receiving core in the NFL, okay? Okay, please get a pick. Thank you. Yeah, we got it, Silver. I, I don't love that one too much. All right. So now we're doing this Charlie Jones one. Um, Oh, okay. I, I did not realize we're using a guy. 
Okay. So this one's a little bit different. This one, you the, the hot spots move, and you kind of just have to get in the hot spots. But you only have a certain amount of time. I mean, really, you only have, like, what, five seconds to do this. All right. Um, and I'm going to get Cheeto, bro. That's not fair, man. Cheeto is a freaking monster. I mean, I just wish I went against, like, Cam Taylor. Not Cam Taylor, Britt. Get, went against someone like, um, maybe, like, DJ Turner poison ivy you know a little, a little bit a little bit of a chance like you know rookie guys but no i'm going against like the best of the best in the game right now so i go back cut back make a play good play good play i mean honestly if i get silver here i'll be happy I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you i don't know how you would get the 400s or more or even the touchdowns because it just takes so long to get down there I mean, it's a 400, makes sense, but the touch, I got gold, which is awesome. But the touchdown ones, way down the field like that, that's a, I don't know how I'm going to get those. All right, guys, so we got our second mock draft of the year. So I think, what is it, a total of four mock drafts uh, a year that come out? I uh, know, five mock drafts total. Okay, so our first mock draft had us going with, who was it? 23, and it had us going with tight end J Carr. Let's see our second mock draft here. What do they have us finishing? Is the same spot? No. Okay, so they have us. They have us winning the Super Bowl. Okay, man. Listen, these analysts maybe the more realistic and mad they than they are in real life. So they have us taking a running back after winning the Super Bowl. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not really too interested on running back here. I like Joe Mixon. We have him on a contract for another year. He took a pay cut. You know, he helped out immensely. Um. I'm not really too interested in doing that, to be honest. Um, uh, ball security over everything else when carrying needs to work on simple concentration drops. Uh, fights for every single yard as a runner. Avoids big hits following catches. Excels at creating yards after the catch. Okay. Uh, he is acceleration great to elite. Agility is solid to good. Change of direction is good to great. Jumping, speed, okay. And again, like I said, yes, you know, obviously you need backup running backs, but I do like Chase Brown. I want to develop Chase Brown more. I want to get him ready more, kind of get him more in, in the system, in this offense. And I also want to get a couple guys in this offense going. So um, we do have Travion Williams still. We have Chris Evans still. So I'm not really too crazy interested in that. I mean, again, like I said, just my personal opinion, but it's just not really something that I'm too interested in. Okay. So I think we have, oh wait, we don't have any upgrades. Even though we got like, pre, did pretty good last week. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, when I say pretty good, I meant to say like, we did pretty good on our weekly strategy, but it is what it is. All right, and surprisingly enough, so we're playing the 49ers. It's three and four in the season. So they're definitely not the greatest, okay? Um, go through this one. They're definitely not the greatest, but I mean, overall wise, I'm okay with that. I did this one again. Crap. I mean, like, you get cover stacks and it, it's okay. But, like, again, like, those passes, yes, you could make the argument, like, you know, you could use her underneath and shut that down. But not really. I got destroyed on this play. I got destroyed and it actually worked out for me. All right. So, if I cover zone here. Ah, uh, like, bro, how is that not an interception? I clicked the one with Cheeto and tried to get an interception there. And Joe Burrow is throwing the football, so that's, like, automatically not fair. They got, like, the best receivers of all time, and Joe Burrow throws the football. Underneath. I mean, at least I got the tackle. Yeah, no, this is just not the drill, man. I feel like this is not going to give us any kind of XP. I'm surprised they even do the drill. I guess they drill kind of like more team exercise than anything. Because again, like I said, it's not really user based on the one player. Oh, we almost got a cover sack right there. 0. 0.5 seconds away from a cover sack. So almost here. I guess you could technically say that you could just like kind of lurk, you know, like kind of uh, bait the user to throw the ball. But I'll be honest with you, not really too much a fan of this one. Sadly though, if I do quit, I don't think I... Actually, wait, if I quit, can I do another one? I want to see if I can quit and do another one. Because I really don't like that one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, like, not my cup of tea, to be honest. 
Okay, I think I can quit and do another one. Because I'd rather do another one, get XP for my players in another way there. Other than doing that one. Um. Yeah, okay, so they actually give me an ability to do another one. Um, so I don't like this one. I hate this one. I don't really like this one either because I don't really like the joint coverage ones. I like it more when it's single coverage. So the DB battle is what we've been doing a lot of. This one is actually difficult because this one, ha there's no, they don't tell you what the play is. So obviously the other one tells you to play, right? This one does not tell you to play. So you actually have to like, kind of like realistically go off of what's going on on the screen. Like with the player. Okay, let me restart that because I feel like I started off pretty bad there. Alright, so I got to kind of back up a little bit, right? Okay. Cover sack, I'll take that. Good coverage by me. Poison Ivy here, baby. Oh, crap. See, that's, that's going to be difficult. Okay. I mean, that's more realistic in all honesty. Like, in real life, you don't get the routes. I mean, can you imagine? But, like, you kind of have to... I guess you would have to more or less just kind of judge based on how like where they're gonna turn but again like i said it's just like the problem with this is that like tyler boy is pretty fast in general but like the second he gets his cut like bro i don't have a chance of recover like in order to get an interception this you have to be like faster than his cut like see i have to be like with him and making the play before he cuts or else i'm not gonna get the interception so i don't and then the tackle sucks Man, this is this one's gonna be very challenging. I'm not gonna lie to you. We might stay with the simple ones, man. I might I might just have to take the L here and stay with the simple ones. Cause I, I don't know if I can do those. <laughs> hey, I'm not trying to be Weenie Hunt Jr. guys, but like those are a little bit I don't know. Maybe I gotta get better and really like, you know, home in on my skills, bro, and like become a better player. Because like Again, like I said, I know, like, it's funny because I say that, like, in real life, like, in Madden, it's like, well, this doesn't happen because, you know, in real Madden, you don't actually see the play. It's a real life. But, like, in Madden, if you're using a guy, you actually can, for the most part, see the plays, I think. So, I don't know. Just my personal opinion. And I let him catch it anyway. Bro, what am I doing? I'm just trash today, boys. I am just trash today. Carb call the car garbage guy because I am trash today. All right, what we got here? I'm a little bit better with these. See? Uh, why did I say C? Why do I speak? Why do I speak, bro? <laughs> okay, this is a... I am struggling. This is Struggle City, okay? I don't know what I'm doing right now, boys. I, I promise we, we usually do better with this for some reason. But... I mean, I'm getting cover stacks, but that's just because I'm doing amazing coverage. Drag routes... Bro. Guys, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. Like, I'm not going to get him underneath there. I mean, we're not going to allow a touchdown, hopefully. Which is good. I got the interception. I don't want to talk about it. That was just absolutely horrendous. Alright, we'll do better with DJ Turner. I promise we'll do better with DJ Turner. But, look at the outside there. Underneath. All right, seven left, same play. Bro, I got beat. Bro, I, I guys, I don't know what's going on here. I'm a money, I'm usually money at these. And today I'm struggle busting it. I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right, five left, man. Hopefully there's not to what to come in this 49ers game. Cause I'll tell you right now, this 49ers game is going to be tough. It is definitely going to be tough, bro. And I really am not looking forward to that, but I'm also not looking forward to it. If I'm Struggle City today, no, bro. We're, I'm telling you right now, we're going to end this strong. I'm, no. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a crack in here, boys. I'm going to home in. Okay, I did not realize what the route was. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was going straight. I thought he was going for it. Yeah. Okay, so this is this route. Okay. I over pursued that ball. Bro, I mean, okay, I gotta redeem myself here, bro, because, like, your boy is struggle sitting this. I hate when that happens, 
And I got the interception there, which I like. But I hate when they take forever to throw the ball, and then eventually they just, like, throw it before they take a cover sack. Because at that time, the coverage breaks down, and, like, there's no way I'm going to get that ball. Okay. I'm just going to take the big fat L. Yeah, I'm just going to take the big fat L. Okay, this is a deeper pass. I'll take that. That's my ball. Can I get gold? I think I can get gold if I get an interception here. I was right there, bro. I'm, I'm asleep. All right, let's go, boys. This is this one again. Um, I'm okay with this one. I just got to get a little bit better at, like... So, when you do these ones, it's kind of like the other ones you do. Where you got to lead to the left, right, cut back to the right. But you have to throw a little... You have to click on it a tad bit faster. Because if you want to actually get the points here, you have to... Ooh, okay, I'll just take the easy points. Uh, you have to do a little bit faster, though. Because... By the time you catch the ball and you go for the ball, it's already, it needs to be in that little zone there, as you can see. So it needs to actually be in that zone. So, ooh, okay, that's the moves right there. See, that's a money shot. That's a money shot right there. I got silver. Okay. Okay, there we go. This is my redemption arc, bro. This is my redemption arc right now, boys. This is when I'm like, listen, I got gold. If you've been seeing the channel, you've been watching these series, you know... Your boy got some money going on here, okay? But, you know, sometimes, just occasionally, I can be Garbo, straight up garbage man material, okay? Sometimes, okay? So, all right, so we're going to restructure um, Mike Hilton's contract. It will go ahead and free up $1.94 million this year, and it will free up some money next year. And the reason why we're doing this, obviously, is because I want to keep Tyler Boyd. And after, you know, going through this, it looks like Cheeto wants to keep Tyler Boyd too. So that is absolutely amazing. And now we can actually go into our thingy here. Okay, well, I did not mean to go all the way back to the main screen. But we can actually go back in our leak here. And let's go ahead and actually hopefully work out a contract here with my man, <clears throat> Tyler Boyd. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. He's not going to have that much, you know, we're not going to have that much value to give him. Um, obviously there's a tad bit of money walked out there. I'm hoping he takes little money and hopefully stays for that. Um, let's see though. We got 10 million now. So a lot of money. Thankfully to Mike Hilton, man. All right. Listen, uh, Tyler, I can't offer you that. How about I offer you a one year contract? Okay. And can we work out a one year contract to maybe like 3.5? I know that's way undervalued, but again, that's what I got to offer you. You know I love this team, but this deal is just wrong. Tyler, man, we can't offer you that much, dude. I mean, like, listen, I would love to bring you back. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I would love to bring you back for the most money possible. I think you're worth, like, you know, all the money in the world. I can't get DJ Reader. I mean, I could technically, but I want to work on Tyler Boy's contract first. Um, man, I mean, do we just, I don't know. That's a, that's a difficult situation here. Okay, guys, we might have to make a decision. All right, so we just traded Jonah Williams to the Cowboys for a fourth round pick. And hear me out, right? We got Collins back. Obviously, I'm happy about that. But trading away Jonah, just like we said at the beginning of the season, all so all right, one of the cool things about Madden is you have this thing called the talent trees, and you can go from head coach to offense coordinator, defense coordinator, player personnel. So this obviously, first off, I kind of want to focus on this today. And again, you could focus on like, for example, Coach Taylor, Brian Callahan, uh, Lou Anaromo, uh, any of these guys. But I'm going to focus mainly on trade. Uh, actually, I don't know. Offensive recruitment, defensive recruitment. This is for free agency. All right, so I got this one, which is 5% discount on players older than 30 years old. Tom Boy would not be happy. Um, I'm going to do that first off, but now I'm not thinking about it. I probably should do one of these um, for offense or defense. Okay, so open field, pocket passing, offensive guru, uh, man secondary. Okay, quicker turns. You know what? Yes, I'm going to do that, actually. Now that I think about it, we're playing the 49ers upcoming week. Shouldn't be too tough 49ers wise, but I do want to have as much bonus as I can get here uh, going into this upcoming week. So I'm just going to go ahead and max this out here just to help us out as much as humanly possible. 
Um, and yeah, so lock down one. So that should help us out a tad bit there. All right, a very tough game here. We got to play the San Francisco 49ers. Not only is this tough because we're a good team, we have to travel across the country here to play this team. So it's one of the situations where it's like, ugh, it's going to be tough. Again, keep in mind, we are playing against, you know, I think it's Brock Purdy at this point in the season. But they do have Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel. They also have their defense, which is always legit. Nick Bosa in this franchise got a new contract, so he's ready. He's not messing around, and... Oh, let's just hope we can get lucky here, Moin. Guys, I almost said Moin. But guys, we gotta get lucky here, because... This is gonna be a tough matchup. It 1,000% gonna be. 1,000%. But keep in mind, we've had so many times this year where we almost lost the game, and then we won, so... We've had so many close calls this year. And we're 6-0 coming out of it all, so... I'll tell you right now, that works out pretty well for me. Dang, bro. Collins' first game with us. Week, what is this? Week not? No, week eight. His first game of the season. And Joe, Joe Mixon, man. What is going on here with Joe Mixon? This is another game that he is absolutely starting off hot on. Okay, dude, I'm not even going to ask questions. Joe Mixon has just absolutely started taking off this season. He's trying to get a thousand yard season, I guess. And he probably is gonna get it. And I will fully take a thousand yard season for Joe Mixon, by the way. One thousand percent. Because that's gonna make mean that we are probably gonna be, you know, in the Super Bowl. If he gets a thousand plus yards and the touchdowns he's getting, yeah, that's a that's definitely a recipe for a Super Bowl. Are we not gonna have to pass the ball one play this drive? This would be actually kind of crazy. Let's see if Chase gets the outside here. We got ooh. Cuddy, never mind. I was going to say chasing at the block correctly, but doesn't matter. That was four, five plays down the field for Tuddy, 80 yards. Okay, Joe Mixon, have a day, my guy. All right, boys. We have the upgrades from our defense, from our staff upgrades. So it should help us out mentally on defense. And our defense, I'm not too like, okay, we're not doing, we're not going to let this happen, guys. But I'm not too scared about the uh, their offense. Yes, obviously, Debo is scary. Christian McCaffrey is scary. But keep in mind also that it's Brock Purdy at quarterback. And he's really not that amazing. So it's not like I'm like sitting here shaking my spaceman boots, right? Over a Brock Purdy starting against me. That's the guy I'm scared of right there, though. 23. <sighs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. You know what the good thing is? We traded away Jonah, so next week we're going to be able to probably re-sign Tyler Boyd. And we could probably also bring back Hakeem Davis-Gaither and maybe some other guys. I mean, like I said, that $12.6 is going to go a long way for us here. So, that's going to help out immensely. But, alright, second and nine here. Good job, defense. Good job. I might make another trade, I'll be honest with you. Um, for another offensive lineman because this is the last week before the trade deadline, uh, you know, ends obviously. So I'm thinking about making another trade before the trade deadline ends just so we could potentially get, you know, maybe another backup tackle. Because again, the reason why I kept Jonah for so long was because I want, you know, offensive line depth. Obviously, that was the biggest issue last year in the playoffs. So I'm definitely thinking about maybe going out there and trading, not a fourth because we just got a fourth. But maybe trading something for an offensive line. Maybe like a fifth or a sixth. Maybe a seven. And try to see who I can get. All right, I should just keep running the football. But we're going to throw the football here. And you know why we're going to throw the football here? Because we got Irv Smith back. Yes, guys. That's a huge W right there. So we have a lot of guys back today. Uh, just taking a look at this. Uh, no, not that one. I want to go to the medical staff here. So medical here. Everyone is back. DJ Reader. First time he's back this season, pretty much. Um, Irv Smith is back. We also have Yoshi back. We have everyone. So this is the healthiest we have ever been this season. And, of course, that is absolutely amazing to see. As, you know, we need them against the 49ers here. Although, if they can't shut down Joe Mixon, man, I don't know what the 49ers are about to do in this game. Because Joe Mixon usually is not the guy that I would say going into a game versus the Bengals that a team should be worried about. Like, don't be wrong. Yes, the... Bengals are a great team. You know, I love them. But at the same time, though, that's not the player you should be worried about going into a game. Is, hey, can we shut down Joe Mixon? Like, Joe Mixon, bro, is kind of the least of a lot of people's concern. 
Did I get this off before the first quarter ends? I did. And it's a screen pass to Joe Mixon. Because they stopped him in the run game, so I passed the ball. Um, I'll be honest with you here. I could go for this, right, and play ballsy. I could play ball. I'm going to take a field goal. I, this might be a Winnie Hutt Jr., you know, method to go about things. But, again, like I said before, guys, keep in mind, I am on all Madden. So, crazy things happen. And I really do not want to risk anything here. I always want to win this game. This is a tough game. Toughest game of the season so far. I want to just get it done and move on from this game. And who knows? Maybe that comes back to haunt us in the end here. But, I think this is a situation where it's like, again, against this type of team... This type of defense, the fact that we're starting off this good against this defense really shocks me immensely. Where, you know, I feel like our defense is good enough and capable enough to get, you know, make plays. That if we take our points, we're going to be in a very good spot throughout the rest of this game, right? I mean, we just saw their last drive. Christian McCaffrey absolutely ate us alive. And now Debo Samuel. Ugh. All right, boys. I also realized DJ Reader's contract's up still. And I could technically bring him back with the new money we got. And whoo, that was almost a sack. They are so lucky that they got the incompletion out. And it's just because when I went to get the sack, I didn't get a lock on animation to sack the guy. If I did, that was about to be a huge sack on the play. And oh my gosh, we're getting after him. See, this guy don't understand the whole hype behind Brock Purdy. I really do not think he's that good. And I don't think this year he's going to be that good. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's going to be a Super Bowl quarterback. I don't believe that, man. I really do not. I think he's going to be maybe a mediocre quarterback. And he might be, honestly, a good quarterback. I mean, uh, I would say above average quarterback. Not good. I think above average. But I don't think he's going to be as good as people are making him out to be, in all honesty. I think he's, you know, has potential, but that's pretty much it. Okay. That did not go anywhere. Uh, this game's going by real fast because we're running the ball a lot. <laughs> I'm just realizing that now. Like, whenever you have games where you run the ball a lot, games go by so much faster than if it's just passing. Which makes sense, but it's like, I don't know. It's not as exciting. But again, against the 49ers defense, I don't care about being exciting. I care about just, you know, making plays, getting down the field, and, you know, playing smart here. And I should have threw the T. I should have threw the T. I should have threw the T on there. T was actually open across the middle. And by the time I saw him, if I would have thrown it, it would have been picked off. So, not going to play stupid there. Um, okay, can I get a block here? Offense? Okay. That's a little bit of PI. Y'all got to start calling PI, man. On a real note, though. On a real note, though, y'all got to start calling PI. I mean, this is kind of crazy against Jamar Chase. I mean, bro, twice, three times, almost four times, Fred Warner pass interference versus Jamar Chase there. I mean, that's a little ridiculous. I get it that it's in their home stadium. But at some point, man, you got to call something. Like, you can't just let that happen. Okay. I actually, okay, Alex Kappa just got hurt. That's a side note. That sucks. But look what just happened, guys. So, who is our guy? Christian McCaffrey is the punt returner, right? Was he down? That's close. No, look. It, it's very, very close. But they just fumbled with a punt and we recovered it. They're going to say he's down. Don't say he's down. They're going to say he's down. So, Alec Kappa got hurt. And he was down on the play. You got to be kidding me. I was so excited for that play. He will return soon. Okay, he'll be fine. Uh, okay. That's why I'm going to trade for another offensive line before the um, trade deadline here ends. Because I need to at least get one more. Okay, that's holding. That's holding. You already know. that If it's called that quickly... It's a holding call all day, every day, baby. Let's go. All right, so we're just going to take out Max for... I'm sorry, we're going to take out um, Kappa for the rest of half and put Max in. And the reason why, obviously, is because I don't want to get any chance of, you know, problems. But Cam Taylor Britt with a sack. Listen, after two drop, like, missed INTs last week and pr pretty much two missed pick sixes, 
I'm okay with the fact that you get that play right there. Because that was actually a really good play. What's the penalty? I... I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Logan Wilson. So this was not... This wasn't me. This was the CPU. What? What's the... What is this? What is the flag here? Okay. I, and it, it doesn't keep going, but he tackles him. I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm biased, but okay. I, I'm not going to sit here and argue that. To say that, like, that's the worst call in the world. Because, yeah, it was way after the play. And he did tackle him on the play. Like, trust me, I will be as biased as humanly possible for my team. But, like... There's some point where you're just like, okay, okay. Maybe just in a hypothetical universe, Roger Dell did not pay the ref on that play. All right, let's get it, boys. I think he's going to hike the ball. I was about to say, he's going to hike the ball for two minute warning here. Almost got it. We almost got a sack, and then we had a dropped interception by Jordan Battle. Bro, that would have been so much XP for you, Jordan. Come on, man. We got to have. Stop having these dropped interceptions. Alright. Good tackles, guys. Why is this game so close? I, I don't like it. Because, like, it should not be this close. Brock Purdy, 4 for 9 for, like, 40 yards, bro. Like, 50. Yeah, 41 yards. Like, bro, wh why is this game so close? For no freaking reason. It it's absolutely no reason. Alright, come on, boys. Second and three here. Second and three. Underneath, make the tackle. Good job, good job. All right, man. We got to stop here, guys. No touchdown here. No touchdown here. They get ball to halftime, too. Which scares the living crap out of me. I mean, we're still sitting on a 6-0 record, okay? So I'm happy there, but, like, we got to keep it going. Okay, Christian McCaffrey out wide. Watch out for Christian McCaffrey, guys. Dotteroni. Gotta be kidding me. Hell Mary time, boys. Hell Mary time. And yeah, not many teams do this. And I know it, it does go against, like, you know, like, obviously, you get an interception if it's intercepted. But I like these Hell Marys. I think they're fun to, like, you know, try and attempt. Because sometimes this stuff happens, which is, I think they're going to call, they're going to call PI. Let's go, baby. Okay. So sometimes, like I said before, that happens where a team, when you're throwing a Hell Mary there, sometimes the guy gets a little bit too aggressive with it. Tries to knock it down, and you get a free field goal off of it. So, it's not always. Actually, it's honestly probably pretty rare, but still. It works out sometimes, and I'll take that right there. All right, second half. Our adjustments in the second half here is shut down the run on offense, on defense. And on offense, it's going to be maybe open up the pass game a tad bit more. Because that first half was not that great in the pass game. I like the fact we got a field goal for halftime, though. At least that gives us some type of momentum in the second half. But I'm going to tell you right now, we cannot get shredded on defense in the second half, man. Because their defense is good enough to actually shut us down. I'm not confident in their, you know, making this too much of a game here. Okay, Christian McCaffrey. And good job. Missed tackle, Jordan Battle. It's a couple misses here. I mean, on the touchdown drive, Jordan Battle mixed the pick. And then right there, he missed the tackle. It happens, man. It's football. It's his rookie season. He's being kind of thrown out into the wolves here to try his best to, you know, be a starter. But, I mean, we we need him to really step up. And it's, it's kind of sad because, obviously, you know, it is what it is. But he did play at a high level in college at a really good program. So, I'm not going to sit here and uh, make excuses for Jordan Battle. Especially not Jordan Battle. Because I expect him to give us 1,000%. If I am correct, I think he went to Alabama. Which Alabama is like a pro level defense, you know, with Nick Saban every single season. I mean, they're playing, it's like a joke at this point. If you draft someone from Alabama, they pretty much played four years in the NFL before you draft them. Because that's how long they've been, you know, kind of conditioned into an actual football, you know, regime pretty much. But here we go, guys. Come on. Check down pass. Okay. I don't like how he's dinking and dunking on us and is so effective here. They haven't even ran the ball this drive yet. And they've been moving the ball at ease on us. Come on, defense. 
When I say they shut down the run in the second half, I did not mean that we don't we don't let them run because they just simply pass the ball all over us, okay? It's not what I meant by shut down the run defense. I clearly there was some misinterpretation on what I meant by shut down the run. It was not just, oh well, we're just gonna give up so much yards in the pass game that the run game just becomes, you know, pointless. Like, no, bro, we this is not how this goes. Okay. Alright, it's all good, guys. Honestly, we get a turnover here. This would be the biggest momentum shift of all time. Make tackles, make tackles. That's not Christian McCaffrey, okay? Listen, if Christian McCaffrey's out there and he gets the ball in that play and he gets a touchdown, I'm not too upset. But if that's like Elijah Mitchell, it, it cannot be a touchdown, man. Third goal here, boys. Wide open. Wide freaking open. All right, all right. We're getting dotted up by Brock Purdy. Scares the crap out of me. That's the last guy I want to get dotted up by. All right, come on, boys, come on. Play smart here. There we go. Wide open, Irv Smith. I'll take that all day, every day. Honestly, the fact we have five passes with Joe Burrow at this point in the game is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that's absolutely amazing, but it just goes to show how good our run game has been today, which is, Awesome. All right, finish strong, boys. We got to finish strong. Fourth quarter here. Nothing stupid. Just don't give up anything stupid at this point. That's all I will say. Okay, so is Max back out? Oh, sorry. Is Max in there? Is Kappa in there? I did not even look to realize or look to see. That's Kappa. Okay, Kappa's back. I looked at the wrong guy. Hang on. Because when I said uh, Kappa can stay out for the, like for that half, I want to make sure they just take him out for the game. Because sometimes Madden does that, and I don't want him out for the game. Although, I don't want him to get hurt. No, it is Kappa. Okay, I was right. At first, I saw... I saw, I saw seven, The first guy I looked at was uh, Collins in 71. But then I was like, okay, that's I looked at the wrong guy. But I saw 65, and I was like, that's definitely Kappa. Oh, crap. Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, man. Sometimes the biggest W's you can get in life is just throwing the ball away. All right, come on, Joe Mixon. There we go. I'll be honest. I was going to say for a second, in like the second half so far, you know, we haven't been running the ball as efficiently. This is our first drive, I think, in the second half, right? Yeah, because this is the first half. We, I mean, second, second half, they ran the whole third quarter off of the last drive. So this is our first time with the football. Which is crazy to say. It's also a Joe Mixon blow-up game. <laughs> which you got love. Alright. Come on, boys. Come on. I'm trying to do a cutback to make a couple more plays. I'll be honest with you. I'm not expecting any time this year for us to have like more than 20 carries with Joe Mixon in a game. Especially with the fact they have Chase Brown and some other guys. I'm expecting a lot of rotation. So, if it's 20 carries in a game for Joe Mixon, that means that our offense absolutely star-studded. Like, our offense is insane. Okay. This is risky. But our defense has been struggling. Good job, Drew Sample. Good job. Wait, what? They said this was an incomplete pass. They said this was an incomplete pass. Turnover on downs. He dropped it. Is this a... No, this is a fumble, though. Hang on. Had control of the ball right here, right? One, two, three, four. That's four seconds with the ball. And then the ball pops out loose. That's not a, that's not a drop. That's actually a fumble. He has full possession of the ball. Right there. That's a fumble. Bro, that is absolutely horse crap. That is not an incomplete pass. You cannot run with the ball for four or five seconds, drop it, and then be like, oh, incomplete pass. No, that's a fumble. Like, he made a football move and everything. That is horse crap to say the least, man. Wow. 
these refs, man, they are, they're not messing them out all day. I don't understand how you could call that a fumble. I mean, an incomplete pass. I really don't. If it would have been right away, I understand. But that was delayed enough that that was definitely incomplete. Uh, definitely a fumble. But you could say, okay, he fumbled it. But then we still get a first down, even if he fumbles it. And they fumbled it. Okay, so they're going to say that's not a fumble now? They better not call that back. Okay. It's whatever. I mean, like, at the end, that worked out in the end. But that's us making a good play, though. That was not us, you know, like, the refs literally bailed them out on that last try. All right, so the mentality here, though, is just to run the clock here a little bit and play smart. I don't, I want to get a touchdown, obviously, but I don't want to get them ball back with much time because they have shown against our defense, for whatever reason, which is not really how it's been all year with second-ranked defense, that they can move the ball at ease. Which is so weird because they have Brock Purdy. But, <laughs> okay, well, see, I could have went down there and just tried to, like, one more clock off. But at the same time, man, when Joe Mixon's doing Joe Mixon things today, I, I can't stop him, man. This is what a Joe Mixon type of day is, man. I'm going to tell you right now. 150 yards, two touchdowns, and 18 rushes. All right, let's get it, boys. 117 left defense. Tell you right now, defense, we need to get a stop. Okay. Oh my gosh. Gotta be kidding me. Trey Henderson got hurt too. He got shoved to the ground there and got hurt. Okay. It is what it is. That was a good screen pass call by them. They're almost in field goal range already. I'm not sure the kicker is. I think they got rid of Robbie Gold. I believe they got rid of Robbie Gold. He's wide open. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. Trent Williams got hurt. Okay, their left tackle at least got hurt, but... <sighs> Come on, boys. We are not gonna get shredded by this offense here. I mean, that was three plays. Touchdown. That was a three-play tutty. That was a three-play tutty versus our defense there. All right, boys. First down 10 here. T! I love T. I freaking love T. I love T. Higgins, man. I love T. Higgins. You guys think you're good with your receivers? Guess what? We are the best in the league, man. Oh, no. No, I threw that ball away. That is so horse crap. That is so horse crap. I threw that ball away. I hit that button way before he got to me. That is so horse crap. That should have been a throw away. Okay. Oh, come on, TB. TB, man. I can't have you dropping that, man. That's huge. Okay. 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 This is game. They got to me. They got to me. I had TB open. I was trying to hit TB. Hi, right, first loss of the season. First loss of the season. That is not what you want to see. That hurts, man. I'll be honest with you. This is the one game I will say the season I could see the Bengals losing. Um, but to lose it in that orientation in that way is just heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking to lose like that. Oh, man. That's that's painful. That's very, very painful. All right. So, 7 for 14, 144 yards, 0 touchdowns, 0 interception. Joe Mixon, 150, 2 touchdowns. And we didn't have really any passing stats because Joe Mixon had a day. Ah, so painful, guys. We're going to make one more trade before the trade deadline hangs. All right, our last trade we made here before the trade deadline was we got Wiley from the Commanders. This gives us a little bit more offensive line depth with us losing, you know, Jonah Williams. So I, it works out in the end here. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, the likes, comment down below. See you guys next one. Peace.